Hello YouTube. Well, my name's uh, Phil. Anyway, you know, I've had a lot of my friends end up asking me, you know, what you learn from living in the country. So, I've decided I'm going to start this channel and show you what you learn by living in the country. Now, I'm going to show you something because you probably won't believe that I live in the country, but this is my proof. I live out in the middle of nowhere. You know, you might see a house here or there, but that's it. So there you go. I'm trying to be as realistic or authentic, whatever you want to say, as I can be. So anyway, one question I always get is, Papa Bear, what did you learn when you were a kid? Well, I learned how to pick wild vegetables, wild uh, funguses that are edible, and all the rest of that stuff. Now, this is going to be the first thing that I'm going to show you. This thing I'm about to pick is called a morale. Now, I'm lucky enough that I don't have to go too far into the bush to uh, go hunting for them. They are a mushroom. They are amazing. They taste great. And people normally spend, you know, I'm going to say 10, 15, 20 bucks, if not more, a pound for these wild mushrooms. Now, that is a morale right there that believe it or not is an edible mushroom and yes it tastes really good a little bit of butter whatever throw it on a pizza if you want very comparable to a truffle okay now there are no other variants that are like this or anything else except for the magic mushroom type and well we all know what magic mushrooms can do to you and if not well i'm not telling you um but they are really good uh they're good for you high in uh well high in protein really and uh to be honest there's no need to prepare them if you're out in the bush such as that over there then uh, if you end up having to do any kind of survival or anything else and you end up finding these then you're golden you can sit down you can live on them you know you'll get sick and tired of them it's like eating the same thing over and over and over but these are wild these were not planted i will guarantee you that uh, they sprout up every, you know, everywhere, every so often, but that's what you do as you go looking for them. Uh, one other thing is that you do want to wash them um, because you never know. Uh, you never know what's been around them or whatever. And as you see, this is a freakish year for them because they popped up all over the front yard. But they're not poisonous, you can live off of them and all that. So with that said, see you later YouTube, and uh, I'll let you know what's going on from uh, my next post. Ciao!